Hi guys, this is Robin Winkleman from Alpenglow Photography, and this is my first tutorial video, so I apologize if it kind of sinks, but I thought I would show you guys how to close a baby's eyes when you just can't quite get them to do it when you're in your studio. So this little stinker, um, he kept just one eye open all the time, and usually I just stroke the bridge of their nose or right above their eyelid and it helps them close their eyes and they usually stay it stays closed um, this guy decided that he wanted to pop it up and every time I picked up my camera and so even though this isn't my favorite image from this session uh, I felt like it was a good one to kind of show you how to do this process so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate my background layer okay and I just as a note I'm on my Wacom mobile pro tablet and so I don't use any of my um, keyboard shortcuts, um, but there are keyboard shortcuts for a lot of these things. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I've duplicated my background layer, and I'm going to zoom in right above his eye. And I'm just going to grab my lasso tool, and we're just going to draw... Oh, I don't like that one. Let's try it again. Draw along this eyelid, okay, and then we're going to, oh jeez, I'm not doing well with this right now, am I? This is like the fifth time I've made this video too because the other screen recording software that I got didn't work, okay. Um, I'm going to take, I got a little bit too much, so I'm going to take a little bit of that out, and add just a touch of it back in, alright, there we go. And then down here a little bit more too. I want to add that in. All right, now I think we're ready. We'll do free transform. Right click warp. And this is a great tool uh, in Photoshop and it allows you to just kind of move pixels around. And I like this one for this as opposed to the puppet warp because the puppet warp gives you a tons of little tiny points and it gives you a lot of fine control. With this one, we don't need as much fine control. We need more of the global control so that we can get this big thing to arch back down. So then I'm just going to take it, and it's kind of meh. I don't like where I grab there. So I'm just going to grab right at his eyelid and just close it. Look how easy that is. Okay, that's good. Deselect that. Okay, let's look at kind of what's going on with this eye right here. So I have this nice little shadow that gives it depth between the eyelids right there, but I don't necessarily have it right here. So I'm going to go take my clone tool, I'm going to zoom in even more, and I'm just going to clone some of that shadow in. And just as a note, when I'm cloning, I like to re-pick where I'm cloning from quite often, so that you don't get that, oh my gosh, that is definitely cloned in look. Okay, and I might kind of come through and, yeah. I would probably spend a little bit more time on that, working on that more, if this was something that I was actually going to give to a customer. Um, so one thing that you're, the other thing you're going to notice is that there are no eyelashes here. And for this little guy, he didn't have much eyelashes to begin with, so it's pretty easy to deal with. If you have a baby that's got like long, scrumptious lashes, it might be a little bit harder. But what you can do is create a new layer, grab your brush. I set my opacity down a little bit and my flow to about half, and I also am using my pen pressure. And just go through on this new layer and just draw them in. And this is going to be a super quick, just for um, demonstration purposes, you know, if this was something that I was going to want to deliver, I probably would spend a little bit more time. But you can just go ahead and draw in those lashes if you want to. And like I said, this is about my fifth or sixth time doing this, and um, I swear I've done some really beautiful lashes, and I've done some really awful ones, and it looks like this is not so great. Okay, so I've got his lashes in there, and I think it's looking pretty good. Now, it's a little bit uneven, so I might go take it into liquify and try and even out that edge a little bit more, or use my phone tool to even out the edge of his lash a little bit, but honestly, I think it's probably fine. We come back down to this eye down here, and we notice that there's a little bit, not much, but just a touch where it's open right there. So I'm going to go ahead, zoom in there, grab my lasso tool, 
And since it's only this little bit of his eye that's open, I only really need to grab that much of his eyelid. And then we're going to free transform and warp again. And then we're just going to kind of grab and warp that one down into it a little bit. And you know what? I'm not like sure. But it doesn't seem like it's grabbing the right thing. And that's really confusing. Okay, well, hold on. Let's try this again. Let's go free transform. Work. Yeah, hmm. That's strange. I'm not sure exactly what's going on right now. Let's try that again. Let's try this one more time. I swear this works, and it worked in all of my other previous videos. That is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Okay, I do not know what's going on, but let's see if we can. I to do it on a different layer just for demonstration purposes. Okay, there we go. Now it's seeming to work a little bit better. So I don't want to grab at the top of that eyelid like I just did because that's going to make it look, um, it's going to push all of this, these pixels down. So we're going to want to actually grab right down there. Okay? And then with this one, it kind of brought that down a little bit too much, so I'm going to bring the corner of his eye back up. Okay? We're going to deselect. Okay, now with this one, you can see just a little bit of that edge right there where I did it. I like to use the patch tool on this versus the clone tool. I think it works really well. And then this little bit where his eyelashes are not quite perfect. All right, so there we go. We've got that now. Let's see, of course, I did this, so we're just going to go ahead and grab my eraser. Okay, and so and this is my after, and that's my before. And you can see, we just closed his eyes nice and down, and there's our image. So now I can go ahead and do the rest of my edit on this, and he's got closed eyes. And I just, real quick before I go, I want to say how useful this is. I had a client the other day who warned me that when she gets really happy smiley that her eyes get way too bright and she has this really surprised look on her face all the time and I tried to remember to tell her to look down and then back up again so that she wouldn't get that really wide-eyed look to her but I missed her a couple times and there were some great shots where I missed her a couple times and so what I did is I went through and I lowered those eyelids a little bit so that she didn't look super surprised so it's a great tool not just for babies but for other things that you might encounter as well Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.